Dear colleagues, today let me say something about ophthalmic surgical microscope. I am using this microscope Topcon's OMS 800 for the last one year and I am quite happy with it. Depth perception is very good. I use only 15 to 20 percent illumination. It is very soothing to the eye. It can be used for VR surgeries. It comes with inbuilt beam splitter, XY and continuous zoom. Price is around 20 lakhs. Lumera I of J's and Leica M822 are also very good microscopes, no doubt about it. But if you are financially stressed and if you want to save 10 to 15 lakhs, you can definitely go for this microscope. Now let us see a routine surgery with this microscope. This is a cataract with grade 3 nuclear sclerosis. This is the main incision with a 2.8 millimeter keratome. You can see the red glow is quite good. And now 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose has been injected into the anterior chamber and HPMC is applied over the corneal epithelial surface. This is a paracentesis on the left side of the main incision about two and a half clock hours away and this is another paracentesis on the right side of the main incision about three clock hours away. Now capsular axis. The anti-capsule is incised with a 26 gauge band needle and with the help of the uteta forceps I am going anti-clockwise and doing this continuous curvilinear capsular axis. Red glow is very good and you can see the axis margin quite well. Now hydro dissection. The fluid wave goes to the opposite equator. The nucleus is balloted and the nucleus is mobilized and rotated. And now visco again 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose is injected again into the anterior chamber and now is the time to introduce the FECO handpiece into the anterior chamber. The machine being used is Oatly Catarex 3. This is a very good FECO machine and now some superficial cortical matter is removed and I'm planning to do direct job. The tip is buried into the substance of the nucleus. The nucleus is held very firmly and the nucleus is rotated. The nucleus is rotated and then chopped at another place. This free nuclear fragment is emulsified and taken out. In this way the nucleus is rotated and chopped and the nuclear fragments are removed. FECO energy ultrasonic energy used in this case is 65 percent flow rate is 45 ml per minute and vacuum is 450 millimeter of mercury depth perception is very good I can see the lens matter the nuclear pieces clearly as well as I can very well see the posterior capsule and now the epinucleus is mobilized and removed friends this is a video to encourage you to save 10 to 15 lakh rupees if you are financially stressed you can think of this microscope. You can do vitreoretinal surgeries very well with this microscope. Cortical cleanup is being done. I'm using a Simcoe cannula 
this is very safe 40 percent ophthalmologists in UK use this but in India FICO surgeons think that this instrument is for SICS surgeons but it can be used very well in FICO surgeries cortical cleanup has been done very nicely the posterior capsule is very clean and no further polishing is required and now in this case I'm going to use a hydrophobic acrylic aspheric monofocal intraocular lens and I'm going to use a B cartridge because I'm going to use a B cartridge I'm going to enlarge the main incision a little bit say by 0.2 millimeter so the initial incision which was 2.8 millimeter has become 3 millimeter now and now this is the lens actually this is Technis 1 from about medical optics very good lens I like this lens very much because there is no glistening even many years after surgery but acris of lenses from Alcon develops glistening over the years and now the cortic the viscoelastic substance that, uh, that has been used for implanting the intraocular lens is being removed thorough removal of viscoelastic substance is required the camera that has been being used in this case is a DSLR camera from Sony the model is Alpha 7 S2 this is also a very good camera but I do not have the DSLR adapter from Topcon so I am using an indigenous DSLR if Topcon makes a DSLR adapter the picture quality can be much better that is what I guess and I would request the company personnel if they are watching this video to insist Topcon to make a DSLR adapter which fits well to the inbuilt beam splitter so that we can attach the camera to that adapter and get better images this is the final lavage of the anterior chamber the anterior chamber is formed very nicely and the case is concluded see the beautiful red glow dear colleagues thank you very much for your attention if you want to upgrade your microscope but if you find it very difficult to afford Jay's Lumera I or Leica M822 you can definitely go for this microscope you can do anti-segment surgeries as well as post-segment surgeries very comfortably with this microscope and at the same time you can save 10 to 15 lakh rupees and that money you can spend for other purposes in your clinic my intention is to save your money and that's all thank you very much for your attention